Hey there, good people, and welcome to Sword and Shield Studio. My name is Scott, and you are watching the very first video on this channel dedicated to DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tips, and tricks, and all things video. Without further ado, today we're going to be looking at the source tape feature in the DaVinci Resolve cut page. Let's get into it. Here I am in the DaVinci Resolve cut page. You'll see I've navigated to the cut tab on the bottom, and what I've done is I've imported a bunch of drone footage I took the other day, and it's all named sequentially with different numbers on the back here, so I'll make this process a little bit easier, as you'll see in a moment. So to get to the source tape feature on the cut page, it's this icon in the middle here above the viewer. It'll say source tape underneath, and it looks like a little film roll. You click that, and you have all of your clips lined up, separated by these bars. And you can play back, and it'll play back each of your clips in sequential order. And so you can quickly, this way, um, take your footage and turn it into a rough cut. You simply play through the footage, define an endpoint by pressing I, play until where you want to make the cut. I'm just making an arbitrary cut here for the sake of the tutorial. Hit O to define the out point, and you'll see in the, the source tape timeline it's selected a bit of footage, that's going to be the footage it will bring in a, the timeline. So you hit F9 to insert the footage, and it's right here, down in the timeline. And so I can go through each of my clips sequentially, select the bits I like, I for endpoint, Play through, stop. By the way, I'm playing and stopping with the space bar. Hit O for the out point. Again, it selected that chunk of footage. And with my playhead at the end of the cut page timeline, I hit F9 and it's inserted that second clip. So as you can see, this is a really simple way to take your footage that was shot in sequential order, turn it into a rough cut, then you can go over to the edit tab and make fine-tuned fine, fine -tuned adjustments. Uh, it's really easy to get from raw footage, your dailies, to a rough cut just like that. Well, I hope this was a useful little bit of information for you. I know some small features like this on the new cut page uh, in DaVinci Resolve 16 can go unnoticed. And when I discovered this, it was like a pretty big game changer for my rough cut editing. So hope it was helpful and keep an eye out for more Sword and Shield videos coming in the future. Take care.